Hi, this is Desiree from SLP Talk. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you a workaround for using your Osmo with your PC during teletherapy sessions. All right, so here's a quick way that you can use your Osmo with your Chromebook or PC using Google Meets. The same would go for Zoom, only you would join Zoom rather than Google Meet. So what I do is I join the meeting twice. I join the meeting on my Chromebook and I join the meeting using my iPad. And so you can see that I'm in this meeting twice. Obviously, if you were in therapy, you'd have, the, have your child or student or students in there as well. But I do that and what I'm going to do is I present my screen from my iPad. So you can see on here it's presenting my iPad screen. So I'm going to present my iPad screen. Then I'm going to open up the Osmo Projector app. So I open up the Osmo Projector app and now my Osmo is projecting onto my screen for my session. So that's super easy as you can see, if you can see, my iPad and my Chromebook are not connected. There are no um, wires, there, there's no third person app. I just joined two times using my Google Meet account. So um, here's a little fun activity you can do. So this is how I will use different oops, little games and manipulas I have. For example, so say I have a child targeting um, L. So here we grab a little token here, laundry. My kids love, of course, <laughs> to see my my hand get chomped. <laughs> uh, just like a little alligator or whatever, you know. This is just like a simple, you could do it with any type of re, um, little token reinforcer kind of thing. But So what I do is I have the child say laundry. One nice way to get a lot of repetitions is they say it each time I press a tooth down. <laughs> so you're gonna get chomped a whole lot. Uh, if you're like me, you'll jump a whole lot, but you get a lot of reps. So. The child would say laundry, and then again, laundry. And it's fun because they don't know how many times they're gonna say it. Laundry, laundry, laundry. You could put in a sentence, the laundry is dirty. Oh, my laundry is dirty. Laundry, laundry, laundry. Oh, I hate knowing we need jumps. Laundry, oh, so here you just, we just got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven reps out of that one, okay? Super easy, super easy. Then you can have them say, put it in a camera phrase. You can use those visuals that you have, you know, whatever you want to use. So let's put it in a sentence here. He has the laundry. So again, you're using those manipulatives, and, and I'm just using this as an example, but use anything that you have, and that way your kids can see what's going on, see that toy, and it's quick and easy to plan. You can use it across different um, groups because you are used to planning this type of therapy. You're used to the hands-on therapy. Um, and so you can use some of those aspects in your session, just using your Osmo. There's how I connect it with my Chromebook. So easy peasy. Join twice, once with your iPad, once with your Chromebook. Present your screen from your iPad, and then you'll be able to see it. All right. Ideally, when I would be using my, I would have my session, I would have it where I would see, obviously, the child. I just don't have many people in this session. So I'm um, just myself is up here. I see myself up here, and then the present screen from the iPad here. But you would then have your students face real big so you can see what they're doing, they can see what you're doing, and they can see your face, and they can see what manipulative you're doing. There you go. Any questions? Well, thanks for popping in. I hope that you learned something today, just a little tip or trick that would make your life just a little bit easier. We can all use that, right? Come join me over at SLP Talk on Instagram or Facebook or like and subscribe below so we can stay in close contact. I love to learn from you, so let's grow together. See you later.